Hi everyone, in this video, so I'm going to explain how to create a table from the JDBC application. Create table in database from JDBC application. See, once you establish the connection, if you want to execute any SQL query in the database, so generally SQL queries are three types data definition language commands or queries we can call it as data manipulation language queries and data retrieval language queries data definition language means what create the table drop the table such type of things right are called ddl commands data manipulation means what inserting the records delete the record update the record and here it is a delete drl means what is a select query nothing but retrieving the information is called a drl query see to execute the three types of queries ddl dml and drl right here it is a jdbc api is providing different types of classes or we can call it as an interfaces also the first one is a if you want to perform create table operation drop table operation we can call it as a static queries all static queries we can execute with a statement interface next a dml queries means what generally we are reading the information and then we execute the query nothing but we insert the data into the database table or which record you want to delete you are reading and which record you want to update so that is also we are reading by reading the input from the user dynamically right and to insert the queries we use a prepared statement prepared statement and next one select query also so based on the requirement suppose if you want to retrieve all records all records means what is a static query we can go with a statement interface or if you want to read a particular employee details right and uh, yet if, if you want to access a particular employee details so then that is a dynamic query right only one record specific record we can go with a prepared statement with the different kinds of examples you will understand all these things so first of all our concept is what create table in the database for that we are using the statement interface suppose here i'm creating one one program so that is the program name is a create table create table now i don't i don't want to write the complete complete code right here it is just from the previous example i have collected that information everything executing from the main main inside the main we are writing that code how to open the connection how to close the connection everything that we have discussed in the previous video this is so now everything is ready Right after loading the driver, the next step is what establish the connection. Once the connection is ready, now if you want to execute any query, then we need to create that statement object. How can we create means what? Connection object dot. There is a method called create statement method. When you call, automatically that statement created. It will return the statement object. We just collect into statement suppose stmt1 variable and it is also belongs to sql package sql so we are importing that statement from the sql all import statements also important while writing the program now we can execute the query so first i'm opening my oracle database sql plus i'm giving my name username and password just checking that i want to create a table with the name is a student so we are checking that 
description student table is present or not yes it is present first of all let me drop that student here drop table student table dropped successfully table dropped so now here i just want to i just want to check that table is present or not simply with the description what is the table name is a student no such table object does not exist the table is not present in the database now i want to create the table from here from the jdbc application i am creating one query just a string query is equal to of course any name you can use q query i'm just giving the name properly query string create table table name i'm giving student just first column is a number with the size is 5 and next one column is a name varchar2 of size suppose i am giving 20 i am giving like this creating the string preparing the query in the form of string so then how can we execute that query in statement object there is a method called execute execute see it is taking string sql query that we are providing directly just return type is a boolean on success it will return the true on failure it will return the false right once connection is ready if you want to execute any query right yeah, either it is a ddl command or it is a dml command or it is a dri any query if you want to create right first of all statement object is required once the statement is ready then we need to prepare our query directly also you can pass here but first of all i am storing into one variable called query and then execute if the query executed or not we are checking if not executed exception it will give or it is what is our concept table created in database successfully that is so whenever i am executing this code executing now i am checking that look at this driver loaded connected to the database table created in the database and connection closed now we are going to check whether that whether it is created or not yes description student see created with the two columns number and name sir table already ready if i trying to execute the same application once again because in the database we cannot create two tables with the same identity but already with this identity the table is present whenever you are creating the table with the same name second time you will get the exception look at this as we are not handling that exception right here connected to database connection closed because finally block executes in every situation see that the name is already used by an existing object nothing but with the same name already table is present the same thing it is provided this is the way we are we are creating the table in the database using that statement interface object and with the help of execute method we can pass the query any ddl query if you want to drop the table also see now table already created in the same one i am executing that drop table the table name is a student executing the table dropped table dropped now i am executing the program again here it is look at that output is driver is loaded connected to database table dropped in the database and connection closed if you go and check now the description student object student does not exist we have created from the jdbc application as well as we deleted the table from the jdbc application see table already deleted now if i try to execute the same program again you will get that exception again because look at this there is no such table table or view does not exist 
this is the way of creating the table in the database hope you understood please practice the code in your system thank you